Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial showing you how to back up your iPhone via iCloud. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about creating an iCloud backup for your iPhone. And I'll also talk about some key things to keep in mind, such as the different types of data that's being backed up, how often an iCloud backup occurs, how to do it manually, and a bunch more. So when you do an iCloud backup, it's going to back up your contacts, messages, calendars, reminders, notes, photos, videos, app data, settings, and a little bit more. So in order to enable an iCloud backup, so you can set this up to do it kind of automatically, and then you can manually do it if you want to get one that's very up to date. So go to settings, which is the gear icon there, or you can just search for settings on your iPhone. You're going to see your name or whatever name you have set for your iCloud or iPhone account there at the very top. Go ahead and tap into that there. Now, once you're here, you're going to see a couple of different things. The one that you want to tap into is going to be the one that says iCloud. Now, if you notice, there's going to be a number next to the word iCloud. Mine is 200 gigabytes. That's how much storage I have you know, allotted in my iCloud. Now I pay for the 200 gigabyte version. As you can see, I'm using almost all of it currently. Uh, if you ever need to basically update your plan, you can always scroll down to where you see manage your plan and tap into manage your plan and it'll show you the current offerings that iCloud has to offer. Now, once you're here underneath iCloud, you can see where it says device backups. Now, for iCloud backup, mine is set to on. Yours may be off or on, uh, but if you tap into the iCloud backup there, this is where all of the magic happens. Now, the first thing you're going to see is right there where it says backup this iPhone. This is going to be, if it's checked and over to the right and it's green, it means that it's going to automatically backup your iPhone, okay? Also, if you check the next one, it's going to allow you to back up over cellular, which means that you won't have to be connected to a Wi-Fi um, you know, network in order to back up your device. Just know that if you get throttled or if you have certain limitations on your cellular data each month, you may not want to check that one there. If you want to do a backup right now, this instant, you got a blue link there that says backup now. Once you tap on that, the backup will begin now. If you're like me and you don't have enough iCloud storage, what you would have to do is you would basically have to go in and remove some stuff or either upgrade your iCloud account. So it says there below that basically my iPhone cannot be backed up manually because there is not enough iCloud storage available. And you can see down below, there are different device backups. If you've had a backup before via iCloud, it'll show up under all device backups. If I go here and tap into this device backup here, I can actually delete that backup, which is 133 some odd gigs of data, and that'll free up a good bit of my iCloud storage. Also, when you go into your backup here, you can see that I'm backing up my photo library, I'm backing up all of these different apps, but if you wanted to, we can go back to the iCloud settings here. And then once here under iCloud, we can go right here where it says apps using iCloud. If we go to show all, it's going to allow you to check and uncheck things that you want to back up via iCloud. If I uncheck contacts, the next time that it's going to be backed up on my phone, it will not back up my contacts, right? So understanding that if you uncheck something here underneath apps using iCloud, it will not back that up in your next iCloud backup. So what you wanna do basically is go into here, go to iCloud backup and either tap the blue backup now to manually do it if you're getting a new phone or if you would like to do this automatically, it'll automatically delete the most recent backup and then as you can see, my last successful backup was September 10th, which was like a couple of days ago. So it'll do this ever so often, sometimes every day, sometimes every other day, depending on how many changes are made as far as like apps installed, contacts added, things such as that. So back up automatically by checking the boxes at the top, back up manually by tapping on backup now, and you are good to go. Now when you get a new phone, you'll be able to go to the Apple Store or server, wherever you're buying your new iPhone, and say, yes, I have a backup. And the way it works now is it can pull from your backup. You log into your iCloud account, and over Wi-Fi, within you know a few minutes, you automatically have the, the iCloud backup right then and there. All contacts, all everything, calendar. Anything you back up with iCloud is good to go. A couple of things here for creating the iCloud backup. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or it will take a long time. Also, they recommend that your device be plugged into a power source. If you have full battery, I wouldn't worry about that. But I have found that it goes 
a little bit quicker. Also, make sure that your iPhone is not locked. You need to make sure that you unlock it before backing it up. Uh, and also, try not to use your iPhone while backing up. Uh, I've had some issues with some things kind of getting corrupted because I was using it while trying to back it up. Uh, it's just a great way to protect your iPhone data and a great way when you're trying to get a new phone to automatically within you know less than 30 minutes be up and running with your basically current state of affairs on your new device. If you have any questions on creating an iCloud backup for your phone, please put those in the comments section down below and I will see you guys in the next video.